Okay, this is exercise three. Uh, we're drawing this uh, sort of a cap or cup type shape here. Um, a couple things here. So it's really a couple cylinders with a draft on the inside cylinder. Uh, some of the key things is there's an elliptical uh, spin up here that has a cylinder in the middle that has a height of eight inside of here. So it's called out here the eight inch uh, or eight millimeter height here. And then it's got this uh, spin shape, or not sorry, sweep shape that's actually uh, made up of a ellipse. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, build this shape in IronCAD and a couple things. You can build this with innovative or structure, doesn't really matter. Uh, I choose structure part just because you know, I can use data planes a little bit easier with some of these uh, sketches because I'm gonna have to build a, a sketch for the spin and ellipse. So I'll just use the structure part in this case. So I'm just gonna right click and drag and drop a cylinder out and I'm gonna do a structure part here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get Control Shift S to set that active. Uh, sorry, control shift A to set that active inside of there so that we can see our datum planes. So the first thing is that we have a size on this thing that has a diameter actually of 50 inside of here. So when I set that, and it has a height that actually is total of uh, 55. So you got to subtract the eight, in, 8 millimeter ellipse on this. So it's going to be 47 inside of there. So we have 50 inch diameter, 47 inch height on that. So that's kind of our starting point. Next thing we need to do is we want to draw our handle on the side here. So we're going to start with a sketch to draw the path. And I'm just going to use this plane here as our reference. And it doesn't really matter where it's at uh, because I can refer to the existing geometry here. So we're going to draw a three point arc. And I come out here and actually get that point uh, right there at the end of the curve. And I can do the same down here at the bottom. And I can just draw this out here. It doesn't really matter the size. Uh, next, I want to do is move this down because we have to have a, a four millimeter uh, starting point here. And I can't put a dimension from there. There's zero and it might move up or down. So just the easiest way to do it is I have my uh, display of my endpoint dimensions on. So I can see the curve dimension here. I'm just going to move it down a little bit to 27 so I can actually get that point a little easier. So I'm going to use do that, select this point, select that, set that to four. And then we're going to put a dimension here from this point to this point uh, in the side of here, and that was set to be uh, 37 uh, inside of there. So let's me double check that. Yeah, 37, and, uh, 37 millimeters there. Next, we're going to put a dimension from our center point uh, to our center line here, and this needs to be 34 uh, millimeters outside of that. So that gives us a nice uh, curved path here in, for our shape. So we'll go ahead and finish that. That gives us our, our starting profile for our sweep, and now we can just hit the sweep command. In this case, we're going to draw a profile uh, on here. So the easiest way to do this, I'm just going to do a curve normal to point. Uh, so our normal to curve at point. So I'll select this curve, and then I can uh, select that point right there to place it and hit OK. Next, we're just going to draw our ellipse here. So we can draw our ellipse from the center point here. We're just going to draw it up. And this has given us the radius value. So when I right click here, I can say I want a 6 because the total height is 12. And the total width is actually 6, so we'll set that to 3 for the radius. And next, I need to have this actually at the starting point. So I want this to be on the, because uh, it's 4 millimeters down. So we can just use our move command, select our curve, right click. And now we're in the move. I can move it to that point there and hit OK to move that. So now that we have our shape in the right location, we can go back into the command, select our path. That will give us our preview. And we can hit OK to create that. So that should create us a nice... Uh, will handle there on our shape. Uh, next, we can go ahead and add our uh, H cylinder here to the center point. So we'll just drag and drop that out, uh, not on the plane. We actually want to drop it onto this shape here. So I can hold the shift key down, drop that there, and I'll snap it there. And this thing is actually 42 inch diameter. And we can hit uh, enter again. And we want to set the height on this as to 42 as well. So that's going to be 42 by 42. And this has a draft on it. So I'm just going to use surface reshaping. You can use the draft command as well, but I just simply use, just use the uh, IntelliShape surface reshaping. And I can set that to negative three, hit OK, and get that. So you can see that's going to draft on the inside of that. Three would go out, three would come in. Negative three would come in. And then there is actually a fillet here of a four millimeters. So let's type in four, hit enter twice. We've got that blend there. So that kind of gives us the basic uh, construct for that shape. Next, we want to add our cylinder to the bottom here. So I'm just going to drag and drop another cylinder, hold the shift key down, select that edge, it'll put it in the center. And the diameter of this thing is 10. And the height, again, is 8 for that. So that gives us our, our shape that we need for our, our starting point for our elliptical uh, spin here. So we're going to do a spin shape. So we'll go ahead and hit uh, spin. In this case, we're going to draw a section here. So we're going to go ahead and create 
a section here and we can just put this anywhere basically um, you know in our case i'm just going to put it on this plane and maybe i'll put the origin point uh, here doesn't really matter but honestly i like putting it somewhere where i can see it so we know this overall uh, dimension here so we can just just draw a point here uh, out um, here which is 25 you can see the value there we can type it in but we can see it there and we have a dimension here that we want to draw to there so that's kind of our shape there we can trim this off we don't need that but this is basically our shape for our elliptical arc so we can come down to our ellipse drop down menu hit elliptical arc and our center is going to be here and we can just pick basically pick that point and that point uh, so now to draw this we want to start here so we'll click again and then draw down to this point and so we can see that's there and now we can just actually connect these dots here to make sure these are connected so that basically gives us our shape. And if we want to, we can put a center line on this, just, you know, this is our spin center line if we need to select that or not, um, but we can do that. That's gonna be our spin shape inside there. So we can see that's gonna spin around that. That's our shape, hit okay. That will give us our 10 uh, millimeter flat bottom with the elliptical arc there. So that's a, basically our shape for this particular model. And, you know, in their case, they gave us a, you know, a set, um, You've got a part property material, I think it was a 7,800 uh, kilograms per meters cubed uh, value there. So if you want to get the mass of this guy, uh, you can just go into our property browser uh, and you are inside of here. This uh, test bar is my way for some reason. Uh, let me move this down here, switch it over. The test bar will not hide for whatever reason. But now if I select on this part, you can see this is the mass in grams. So 416.86. So that's basically the uh, example here to build this in IRCAD. This is a structure part, innovative, basically the same exact steps. Uh, you would draw that um, inside of there. So you would just, instead of having the plane references, you may use the top plane or the axis to create your original plane for that curve. And then uh, for the bottom, it's pretty easy to do that as well. You can rotate it or whatever to create it. So just kind of a few, maybe one or two more steps more on the innovative, but it's basically the same design. Hopefully that gives you guys an idea. Yeah.